What's up, Reapers? My name's Seth, and we are back here for some more troll. troll b -b 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 hard fix patch notes. Doesn't really roll off the tongue as much as a normal patch notes does, but how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful, and I hope this video makes your day even better. So this hot fix is pretty good. It fixes a handful of big bugs and stuff. I thought this guy was just sitting there staring into my very being. Uh, okay, so we're going to be giving away information rather than prizes, so I would appreciate if you would hit the like button, makes the video show up in searches and stuff like that. I think, honestly, in this day and age with what they've done with YouTube, it might not do anything. So uh, the first update uh, or first piece of the patch notes is PS4 only. They fixed some issue issues causing serious graphical corruption and client crashes. Now, I know for a fact that lots and lots of PS4 players... Uh, uh, have actually been talking in my Discord saying that the servers have just been offline, that they haven't been working for everybody, uh, and also just generally speaking, the PS4 version of Trove has been completely and utterly broken since the Trove Heroes update has come out. So hopefully, and they end up getting it ironed out, uh, you know, sometime soon. The servers are probably online right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is stable. Uh, and then these are all just the general fixes that you can expect on PC, Xbox, and PS4. They fixed a potential crash when zoning and pressing a button i guess that's actually more console rather than pc related fix a bug where you could get stuck in the tutorial when dismounting your mag rider at least they got rid of that big bug because that was probably starting a few new players or stopping a few new players from progressing update the splash screens and loading screens to the new trove heroes artwork which it's actually beautiful it's probably one of my favorite pictures that they've got so far you know what this guy's scaring me i'm gonna hide under the bridge like a troll and eat my pizza with this dead skeleton uh, then Lexian has also learned from the devs, and they spell it, uh, you know, kind of like Dova King pun uh, on Skyrim, and saying that he's hardened his armor against ladybugs. So we're not going to be able to kill Lexian anymore with ladybugs wandering around in the hub, unfortunately. Uh, fixed a bug with the Lunar Lancer's throw that would teleport players to the spear's location if they transformed shortly after throwing it. I'm assuming they're talking about lunacy mode. Uh, they also fixed a bug where Dark Nick, or just the Dreadnought boss, Dread boss, uh, resistance shield didn't resist damage from either the Dino Tabor or the Vanguard. Now, lots of people kept screaming at me, telling me, Scythe, did you know that the Vanguard can end up attacking through the Dreadnought shield? Yes, I did know. And I also knew that the Dino Tamer was doing it as well, but it seems that the devs ended up catching on and they ended up getting rid of it. Honestly speaking, why would you use the Vanguard on an Ultra Dreadnought? I don't know. The total power rank leaderboard will now include the Vanguard class as well for you psychos out there that spend even more money than I do. Uh, and then also the following costume issues will be solved for players who already own these costumes by the end of the week. And for everybody that ends up crafting these costumes now, you're not going to have to deal with this problem. So what ended up happening with a couple of these resistor costumes, only only a few of them. Uh, the Digital Daemon, for example, is the Neon Ninja costume that's absolutely beautiful, right? And based on how the costume was talked about and represented itself, I kept thinking, oh, there there must be like a weapon style for it. I didn't actually get any weapon style, and that is simply is just because of the fact that it didn't end up unlocking. The costume's uh, weapon style is actually right here, uh, and that apparently is going to end up being resolved later this week, so... Hopefully, I, we actually do see a fix to that. Uh, maybe it has to happen on the weekly reset or something like that. But new players should be able to craft this costume and you'll end up getting the full uh, brunt of it, right? Like you'll end up getting every piece of the suit. Uh, also, there was a part to the uh, Dino Tamer costume right here. This has been resolved as well. And more importantly than any of that uh, is actually the Dreadnought Resistors costume. That, I think, was an absolutely beautiful helmet that I've only seen on like Merc and some other people, it, pretty much the way that it works is in order to end up uh, getting the this helmet or getting most of the costume items, that is, is you had to actually craft it out of the crafting table itself and every other means of actually unlocking the costume, uh, that is to say more, more specifically from the Neon Greater caches, didn't end up actually giving you every piece of the costume. It's like right now, if I had the resources, the game would tell me that I could craft the Resistors Vanguard costume again even though I already have the costume, it would let me craft it again just because the game's code would end up actually unlocking the helmet from that point on. Really, really strange that they ended up having a big bug like that, but it's nice that they squished it, and it's good that it's going to be working retroactively because 
I want that helmet, man. Like seriously. And then this this is a big one. This is a big one for all of the hardcore trovers because we all already kind of saw this as a big, big problem when it got added to the game. But blockchain items on the resistor's workbench will now have the description that reads that it is a decor item or a decoration item, right? Because so many people were always questioning, what are the blockchains? What are these things? It's just a decor item. It's nothing special. And the Gonda coin has since been renamed to the Sky Gold coin. Really, really happy that the devs ended up listening to us on this one because calling it a Gonda coin might not seem like that big of an issue, but it was actually a really big problem because lots of people were being ripped off in the community because people were trying to sell this new item that was called a Gonda coin. And it gave the impression, just with how Trove is, that it was going to somehow be related to actually crafting Gonda rather than the only way that you can get Gonda through Troves of Wonder, right? Uh, that or just buying it from somebody if they actually sell it for cheap enough. But in either case, it's nice that they ended up changing that. Um, you know, the, of course, all of those coins are just supposed to be references to Bitcoins in the first place, which is kind of weird that it's in Trove. I honestly don't get it. I don't even know what a blockchain looks like, but I don't really feel like actually grinding 55 moon coins or uh, current coins, especially when it's all just random dropped items. But anyways, who cares about that? fixed an incorrect price being displayed for inventory expansions. Inventory expansions still cost? I thought they took most of those out of the store. Maybe when they're talking about like, maybe when you look at your normal inventory and then you click buy more space, may maybe that's what they're talking about as far as the price is concerned. Because inventory expanders, I don't think are in the store anymore. They took those out like a long time ago as far as I recall. Um, then they also changed it so that the 33 greater neon caches will now actually properly display that it also contains one flashing neon cache, which contains a guaranteed rare result from a greater neon cache. Now, I find it kind of strange that they had to end up hot fixing this in because I, I distinctly remember on the test server that it did mention the flashing neon cache, or at least it ended up mentioning that this thing was going to end up dropping a rare drop, or maybe I'm crazy, maybe it never ended up mentioning it, maybe it's just that everybody kind of knew that this thing was going to end up actually uh, dropping something good, right? Uh, the descriptive text on the various free class coins, so class coins that you end up getting in the game and they end up crafting uh, various characters and stuff like that, now they actually will better explain in the description what classes they can unlock. So they're kind of trying to rectify the fact that so many people were kind of just screwed over by the fact that they had a class coin, they saved it for like months, if not years, and then the Vanguard came out and they were disappointed because you just couldn't end up using a class coin to end up crafting the Vanguard. Now, the reason why this is important to note, folks, is that the Vanguard is not going to end up being the last class added to the game. The developers have actually said in some of their live streams that they are going to be, uh, they're trying to think of a concept for another character, uh, but most likely we're going to end up seeing that new class being added in 2019. I think it would be great if they could go uh, kind of, you know, back to how it used to be, where we would end up getting two classes a year, you know, maybe more, but honestly speaking, I don't see that. One class a year, I would honestly be happy with, uh, especially if they're going to end up having as cool a class as the Vanguard. I still want to have a two-handed sword swinging character, man. Like, I can not wait for that whenever they end up doing that uh, and then they also have it so that the club renamer tag will now correctly refer to the club president instead of club leader i, I guess another description update the uh, Lunar Cassandra boss should no longer jitter when pathing around Luminopolis. I guess it just means the pathfinding and how the boss would just kind of like, I don't know where to go, what's going on, you know? Like, it's just, uh, I guess they've ironed that out now. Fix the Vanguardian's fishing pole orientation. I guess it was broken. I don't have any lures in my inventory, so I can't show you what that is. Uh, and then last but not least, the Neon City Luminopolis Terraformers will now generate terrain that has the correct clouds and music. So I guess previously thrown down Luminopolis biomes and club worlds uh, didn't end up generating with the right clouds and they also didn't generate with the right music, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, who are we kidding? The majority of people playing Trove have the music absolutely muted. Uh, but new terraformers are going to end up affecting, uh, you know, changing the terrain and uh, actually having the clouds and the proper music and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's something that can't be worked retroactively. Very similar how clubs like mine, are, which are actually 
essentially built on the alpha code, uh, still generate with seas of regret that are just at bedrock, whereas new club worlds from this point on end up actually generating with a sea of regret that you can end up jumping into and kind of sinking to the bottom. Anyways, that's already it, everybody. Just wanted to do a quick little video covering all of the patch notes because it is some cool stuff. Uh, again, when this hotfix ended up coming out, we actually also saw a huge game-breaking bug where the Vanguard's melee attacks for the majority of players, not everybody, uh, wasn't actually registering. You weren't able to actually damage enemies. So thankfully, they ended up throwing that hotfix out the same day of the uh, you know of this actual hot fix uh, where we had a little bit of server downtime and they ended up fixing the uh, Vanguard's melee attack because if they waited too long for that I mean that would have absolutely sucked like the character was completely un unviable and on gem day of all things it, it, you know it really put a damper in a lot of people's plans uh, that you know are maining the Vanguard to end up grinding those lustrous gem boxes right but in either case Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor my YouTube channel or check links in the description for my merch store, as well as Gawkbox, which is a way that you can donate to me for free. I hope my mic is sounding good. I had to get a new one. My last one was dying because I've been using it since like a million years ago. It's a really, really old mic that my dad used to use when he was in a band. Jeez Louise. Uh, but I got a new mic now and I've been kind of tweaking my settings and trying to get things all good and... Generally, I just hope that it ends up sounding good. Sign on stay up, everybody.